In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Scenario Manager to solve a profit problem in different scenarios for an amusement park. So here are our parameters. First, we have a mission price, which is $35 per emission. Then we have the number of emissions. For example, I have 1,600 emissions. In addition to the regular emission, I also have season pass holders. For example, the number of season pass holders emitted is 3,000. Once the emitted uh, and season pass holders go into the park, they will spend money on uh, rides, food or toys, souvenirs, etc. So the average expenditure for emissions is $45 per person and the average expenditure for season pass holders is $15 per person. I also have a cost of operations, which is $33,000. I also have a cost of the goods, and that's represented in percentile, and that's 50% of the goods sold. So 50% of the total expenditure of emissions plus expenditure of season pass holders. Next, in our spreadsheet model, we're going to calculate the profit. So in order to calculate the profit, we need to know the revenue and the cost. So the revenue for emission is the number of the emissions multiplied by the emission price per person. And then the season pass holders expenditure revenue is the number of the season pass holders emitted multiplied by the average expenditure for season pass holders. And then next I have the emission expenditure revenue, which is the number of emissions multiplied by the average expenditure emissions per person. So I add them all up, and then I have the total revenue. And then I have the cost of operations, which is $33,000. And then I have the cost of goods, which is 50% multiplied by the sum of the expenditure of season plus holder and the expenditure by the emitted guests. So then I add these two together, I have the total cost. And now the profit will be the total revenue minus the total cost. So I actually use the numbers for partly cloudy day. So in reality, I have three different weather scenarios. The weather can be partly cloudy or rain or sunny. So we're expecting that park make the least profit in the rainy day and the most profit in the sunny day and the partly cloudy just in the middle. So we can use the Excel scenario manager to calculate the profit under multiple scenarios. Let's take a look under data what if analysis scenario manager. I already entered two scenarios, partly cloudy and rainy. So I'm going to add the third one, which is sunny, to show you how I created the scenarios. So I'm going to give it a name, sunny. And then I'm going to specify the parameters. So the emission price, $35 per person, will remain the same regardless of the weather. So such as in Disneyland, they wouldn't lower the ticket price because of the rainy day or increase the price because it's sunny day. Similar practice. So what can be changed is the parameter of the number of emissions, number of season pass holders emitted, and average expenditure for emissions, and season pass holders. And also cost of operation. So I'm going to, using a Mac, I'm going to press down the command. So I select all these uh, cells is because next step, in the next step, I will going to enter the actual value for that scenario, Sunny. So I click OK. And now I just need to make sure the number to enter the number. So B6, that is the number of emissions under Sunny. I have 2,400 emissions. And then for B7, that's number of season pass holders emitted. And I have 8,000. And then for B8, that is the average expenditure emission, which I have 57. And then the B9, which is average expenditure for season pass holders, and I have 18. 
last I have B12, which is the cost of operations for sunny days, is $37,000. So I enter all the values for the sunny day scenario and click OK. And last, I want to uh, output the summary. So I click the summary and I want to specify the result sales is the profit. So that way we'll calculate the profit given by the parameter values I give under each scenario and click OK. This will create a new data sheet and it will show that three scenarios, their parameter values copied and then their profit calculated. We can see that on rainy day, the park actually make negative, meaning that it costs more to run than the revenue that it earned. Partly cloudy day, it's okay. And then it's the most profit in the sunny day. So this results make sense because people love to go to amusement park on a sunny day.